Yo, stay focused, man's on a mission Wavy like the ocean, ain't got time for inhibition Eyes on a prize, lock it in your vision Straight up, man, that's gotta make a decision Stay focused, man, I gotta go Can't be going backwards, I can't be going slow Gotta take the lead and I gotta steal the show What's up, YouTube? How y'all doing today? Hope y'all are doing awesome Hope y'all are having a good night, good evening, good day, whatever whatever time it is you're watching this. Time of this recording, it's kind of evening time, night time. But anyway, today's video is on warning shots. It's kind of a think about it video. It's not really a, you know, it's kind of a think about it warning shots. Is warning shots a good idea or is it not a good idea? Now... Wikipedia has a definition of warning shot as an intent as an intentional harmless gunshot with intent to enact direct compliance and order to a perpetrator or an enemy force. So that's basically what a what a warning shot is. You probably already knew that, but I figured I'd, you know, let you know and you know. Just in case you didn't know what a warning shot was, that's what a warning shot is. It's an intentional harmless Gunshot with an intent to enact compliance from a perpetrator or an enemy. Kind of a scare to scare them off or to scare them, you know, make them, make them think you're actually going to shoot them or could or would or whatever. Anyway, are they a good idea? You know, is a good, is a warning shot a good idea? Well, first let's talk about the pros of a warning shot and then we'll go from there pros yeah it could scare off a would-be perpetrator you know if you've got somebody coming at you you pull your gun and you shoot up in the air or shoot it at the ground or shoot it somewhere by him or whatever yeah you're gonna scare him off and he might run and he might not want to might not want to mess with you no more it's also to inform a perpetrator that you have a gun and you're potentially willing to use it. You know, that's always a possibility. You know, oh, he has a gun and he's actually willing to pull the trigger. So again, it could, you know, make them want to get away. Well, obviously, they don't want to get shot. Why would they, why would they stick around after that? It also could end a situation with potentially no one gets hurt. You know, no one, no one gets hurt. You know, you don't have to shoot somebody. No, somebody doesn't have to get shot. You shoot a warning shot. They take off. Everything's good. There's your pros, you know. There's, so, yeah, that's, that's kind of a good thing. What's up, guys? Hey, listen, since I got you, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button? You know, I'm trying to, I'm sh trying to shoot for that 6,000 subscribers by the end of the year. It costs you nothing. It's it's free. It takes you like five seconds. It, it just hit it, smash it, caress it, whatever you gotta do. Just do the things. You know the YouTube stuff. You know, smash that subscribe button as they say, or hit it, or you know, like I said, caress it, or whatever other kinky little things you want to do with it. But hey, if you do do that kinky stuff with it. We don't need to know about it. You can keep that to yourself. Just whatever you do, just subscribe. Okay. Like I said, I'm trying to get that 6,000. That would be awesome if I can get that by the end of the year. It's my little goal for the year. It's it's September, end of September. So I'd like, it gives me three months. Try and get that. So if you wouldn't mind, hit that, hit, hit the button. You know, do the YouTube stuff. Anyway. I appreciate y'all. I love you. I couldn't be doing this without you. I wouldn't be doing this without you. And I appreciate every single one of you. And anyway, appreciate you. Back to the show. Now, what are some of the cons to a warning shot? It could, may not actually end the situation. You know, maybe if he hears a gunshot, maybe he'll scare him for a minute and then he'll be, well, I didn't get shot and... You know, so maybe he's like, well, he didn't shoot me. I'm going to keep on moving, you know, keep going after this guy or whatever. So maybe he thinks, well, he shot a warning shot, but he didn't shoot me. He's still not willing to shoot me, so I'm going to keep on going. Perpetrator could also have a gun. 
if you don't shoot him, he's like, well, you didn't shoot me. He pulls out a gun and shoots you. That's not, you know, that's a, not a good reason to, or that's a good reason to not shoot a warning shot. Retaliation from the perpetrator over time, you know, later on down the road, he could want to come back after you, teach you to shoot a gun at me, you know, or, you know, he's willing to shoot it, but he didn't, didn't shoot me. So I can go back there again. He'll just do the same thing. He's not going to shoot me. And the other one, probably the most important is you're responsible for every bullet that comes out of that gun. If you shoot a warning shot up in the air, that bullet's going to go up and then it's going to come back down. And whatever that bullet hits, you're responsible for it. If you shoot it and you just kind of graze it by his face to where it's like, uh, you know, and that bullet hits somebody else, you're responsible for that bullet. It's That's all there is to it. It's, you know, you're responsible for every shot. And that's probably the biggest con is if you shoot somebody, some innocent person that had nothing to do with it, then you're just in a big world of hurt and, you know, that's all there is to it. Hey, y'all. Sorry for interrupting. But I just wanted to show you this little this little knife that I use. It's a, it's a folder. It's a CRKT hijinx. No, it's not... I'm not a, a sponsored by these guys at all. I'm not sponsored by CRKT or nothing. I just wanted to come on and show you, and I'm not, and I don't sell these personally. So I just wanted to show you kind of some of the equipment I use. This is the CRKT hijinx. There's a link down below if you want to get one, but it's a good solid knife. It stays sharp, and it it does sharpen up really well. It's it's good solid knife, and it's it's kind of got a good good looking blade on it and so if you want to help me click that link if you want to pick up one it's a it's an excellent knife at a really good price by crkt which is a decent company like i said i'm not sponsored at all by in any way by these guys they're not paying me to to do this but there's a link below and i don't sell them it's to an amazon link so if you want to get one that'd be cool and then you're also helping me out with a few pennies it is an an Amazon associate link. So you would be helping me out with, with a few pennies if you bought one and that would be awesome. It's the hijinks. It, it's a flipper. It's, a, you know, it's good solid. I like using it. It's like a, a good backup to my EDC. Or if I need something a little bit more stout than, than the one I carry, it's a good knife. Anyway, appreciate y'all back to the show. Are there any laws against warning shots? They are illegal in most states and can lead to legal trouble. In most states, they are illegal. I mean, can you get in trouble? Yeah. Will you? Kind of depends. You know, I mean, it's it depends on the state you live in. You know, it says they are illegal in most states, but, you know, there is reckless endangerment one of the laws that you could get one of the one of the offenses you could get are reckless endangerment shooting a gun at nothing is considered reckless endangerment which can be charged as a misdemeanor or a felony kind of depending on again the state you live in and their take on your guns and whatever because they might not like guns they may be an anti-gun state and they may think that's a little worse than other states do. Assault. Some prosecutors may argue that firing a warning shot is an assault and that it could cause serious injury, serious bodily injury, and or death. Okay, get it? Yeah, assault. Again, all, all this depends on the state you live in. Some states may be okay with it, but some states may not be. Misplaced. I don't know what that means, but misplaced. A warning shot could be misplaced and injure or kill a bystander or a suspect. And again, you're responsible for every bullet. If you shoot it and you get a bystander, that could be some form of murder or manslaughter or wrongful death or whatever. They could get you for something for shooting the wrong person because you wanted to shoot a warning shot. 
basically had nothing and you accidentally hit somebody just walking down the street or somebody that's just, you know, whatever they're doing, you know, you're, you're responsible for every bullet and, you know, so take responsibility and don't shoot a warning shot. That's my advice is no warning shots. So I did an article on a live stream last week or whatever. It was about a lady that her and her daughter were at home by themselves. It was just them. Apparently, I don't know if there was a dad or not. It didn't say if there was a father figure or not, but it was a mom and her 18 year old daughter. This was in Chicago. So, you know, take that what you will, you know, Chicago, but they were at home and her daughter was just getting out of the, out of the shower and went into her room and some guy was trying to come climb at her window and I don't know, she just, it said she threw her towel on, so I don't know what that means, whether, you know, she had clothes on or not, but she threw her towel on, ran into her mom's room and said, yo, there's somebody coming through my window. So the mom went and got the gun, got her gun, and she said that, she said, stop, I've got a gun and I will shoot. But the guy kept coming in, he didn't, just kept coming, that didn't work, so she shot what she called a warning shot. But that warning shot just so happened to hit him in the leg. You know, she said, I didn't know I got him. I didn't even know my warning, you know, I shot a warning shot, but I didn't even know what got him. And then he finally went away and, and took off and didn't, you know, obviously didn't come back, didn't, you know, any of that. But obviously this lady was not trained because obviously, I mean, if you, it was a warning shot, and she still missed. She missed her warning shot. She still hit him in the leg. So that's not really a, you know, is it really a warning shot? I mean, luckily she shot him, and he got away, and everything was fine, and they didn't really charge her with anything. But, you know, it's, what if that bolt, what if that round would have went somewhere else? You know, what if it would have missed him? And because they were in an apartment as well, so it's like you're living in an apartment, don't shoot a warning shot because those walls are thin, and you know, there's all kinds of people wandering around apartments and stuff. But you know, and it didn't say if this guy was knew these, knew these people or not, or if he was trying to, you know, but a warning shot if he she'd have missed that warning shot and he kept coming in even after a warning shot, then what? I mean, she would obviously have to shoot him to kill him or whatever. I just say shoot, you know, if if so, if if necessary, if you have to pull your gun, shoot to shoot. Don't shoot to don't shoot to miss. Shoot to hit him. Shoot to shoot to take care of it. Don't shoot to miss. That's not you know. You shoot to miss. You're putting yourself up for hitting something else. And that's why I don't I don't believe in shooting a warning shot. You know, warning shots are, you know, they're, it's just asking for trouble. You know, you're getting a lot less, a lot more trouble. Plus, you'll feel worse on your conscience if you shoot a warning shot and miss and hit somebody else and kill somebody else than you would if you shot and killed the actual perpetrator or home invader or whatever. If you shot and killed that person... Yeah, you'd feel like, oh crap, I shot somebody. I, you know, but if you missed, shot a warning shot and killed somebody that didn't deserve to to get shot, you'd feel a lot worse. Plus, you'd be up for a lot more legal trouble and everything. So, warning shots. Don't shoot warning shots. I don't recommend warning shots, and you know, bad idea. Anyway, appreciate y'all. Love you. Do the YouTube stuff. You know, like, subscribe, share, comment. You know, you know the drill. There's also that super thanks again. If you wanna, if you wanna do a small donation to help the channel, I would appreciate it greatly. No pressure though. Just take the five seconds, hit that subscribe button. That's that's all I ask. You know, there's more if you want, but like I said, that um, no pressure. Just just hit the button, subscribe button, like the video. Boom, you're done. Leave a comment good video, bad video, you're dumb, you're, you know, whatever, just, just do the YouTube stuff, the normal YouTube stuff, appreciate y'all, I love you, I couldn't be doing this with or with, with you, without you, it's, it's a late night for me, couldn't do this without you, love you, 
you know the things, do the things, and I'll see you in the next one.